Africa is one of the leading business schools in Africa. We're very fortunate to be one of the 1% of business schools in the world that have what's called triple international accreditation, which means that the three most ruthless auditing bodies in the world for business schools have checked us out and say we're good enough. Being accredited by the Americans, by the European Union, and by the Association of MBA uh, in the UK means that people look into what we do in depth. They look at all our systems, our ethos, our research, our capability. They look at our history over a long time, our design, the quality of our teaching, the feedback, and also the capability of our people. So they look much deeper into the back office, into what makes a business school. We're very privileged in South Africa to have some of the better business schools in the world. We're part of a very large international business school. In fact, we're the oldest business school in Europe. We were founded in 1945-46. We've just had our 70th anniversary. And we're also part of a leading international university called the University of Reading, which is ranked in the top 1% in the world for research, which is what you want to be good at as a university. So it's a very humbling experience to be in that top 1%, and it means that we're continually and restlessly trying to innovate and improve. We have a mentality that we are here to serve, and we want to do things better all the time, and that's what drives us. And I think that's part of why Henley is great. We've also been in South Africa for 25 years. And we're the only international business school that's triple accredited, that's offering international qualifications here in South Africa, that's accredited in South Africa. And now we're developing a range of other accredited programs, all approved by the Council on Higher Education, as well as a number of very innovative and well-crafted executive programs. Customized education is really interesting because that's made for different clients and it has to be designed. Education in its deeper sense is one of the most challenging areas that you can think of. You're trying to change and mold minds, not giving them knowledge, it's not filling people up, but you're trying to set people going, illuminate them, inspire them and get their minds to be doing new things. So designing learning that is useful, has real outputs, that helps people grow and learn is as complicated in many ways as designing an iPhone or designing anything else. We take design really, really seriously. We look at design institutes and design companies. We try and use their methods. We try and think about how can we innovate? How can we add new levels of, of value to our learning so that people come through it and grow in themselves, feel greater confidence, their intellectual capacity grows, their problem solving capacity grows, the analytical capabilities grow as well, but even more importantly, their imaginative and creative capabilities grow. Because a good education, especially in a business context, shouldn't just create efficiencies, it should create the capability to grow new types of business, to develop new sorts of value, to continually be moving upwards. And so designing that is a really big challenge, and we take that so seriously, we have a design teams, we have an innovation center, and we have special programs on learning how to do that.